Hi everyone, I'm Jeff Ashley and I am here to show you how to graph an XY scatter graph in Excel if you don't already know how to do that. Um, and it's going to be quite easy. So the first thing you want to do is go into Excel. In my little fictitious experiment here, I was changing my temperature of my chemical reaction and monitoring and collecting data on the concentration of a chemical product. Um, and I wrote those data points there. So the things that I was controlling was temperature, and that becomes my, what is termed the dependent variable, and that is your X axis. And then the things that you were measuring because of those changes was my independent, and that becomes my Y axis. So if I arrange it like this, simply in two columns with the Y next to the, oops, the X next to the Y, um, I can simply highlight the whole data set and do this. I go up to insert, and I get all of these options about charts that I could create. And I'm going to pick this one, the scatter, XY scatter graph. Like in your instructions, it says it's very rare to connect the dots. So we're just going to leave them as dots representing data points. And there we have a bare bones graph right now. I want to click somewhere on that graph and I can do one of two things. If you're really savvy in Excel and you should become savvy, uh, check out the add chart elements right here and you can start to add the title and the X axis labels and do other things like insert a linear regression line, a trend line. Uh, but here's the quick tip of the day for this lab. Um, we want to create an XY scatter graph with a linear regression and show an R squared value. Um, that option is right down here and it's layout number nine on my version of Excel. Um, and it gives you this. And it's great, so we can go in and edit things or we can delete things we don't want. The first thing, I wanna get rid of this. It's just taking up too much space and it's not really meaningful just for one um, uh, data set. If I had multiple uh, lines that I wanted to show, I would create a legend using that, but I wanna get rid of that. And it expands my graph that looks better, right? But you can also see that there's a whole bunch of empty space here. That's because I didn't measure any of the concentration of my products at lower temperatures than 30. So I want to kind of cut that out. I want to splice that graph and maximize uh, the data that I show. So I'm going to just click on the X uh, title and uh, then I'm going to come over here. Oops. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, there it is. Axis options and the bars. And I'm going to give my X axis some boundaries. Instead of zero degrees Celsius, I'm going to start at uh, 25, knowing that I started my measurements at 30. And then I'm going to take this up to um, probably 90. And watch how the graph changes and expands. It expands your data set. Doesn't it look better? Yeah, sure it does. <laughs> you can grab onto this, which is your equation of the line, y equals mx plus b. That's your equation of your line. And uh, we're going to put that down there just because I like it down there. Um, and it also gives you the r squared value. r squared value is the goodness of fit or best fit line. Uh, the closer to 1.0, the more data points lie on that line of best fit, the less scatter really. If you have a lot of scattered data, that will be somewhere less than zero. So I'm really close to one, uh, less than one, sorry. Uh, I'm really close to 1.0 at 0.9988. So my data points really pretty much lie on that line of best fit. Some other things we wanna do, and we can go in and edit directly here just by clicking on it. I wanna create a chart title that's very descriptive. Um, I'm gonna call it effect of temperature on concentration of product in a chemical reaction. I want to go over here to my y-axis label. Remember that was my concentration of product. Also, I'm going to tell my viewer that the units were moles per liter. You're going to learn about that soon in lecture, what that means. And x-axis title was temperature. Again, add my units in parentheses. That was degrees Celsius. There we have it, a pretty good looking graph in my mind. And I think in the lines of your instructors, if you can get this far, that's really good. You can copy and paste that into uh, in Word from the Excel file. Uh, you can do other things with it, or you can add things. You can annotate directly on this within Excel. There's a lot of features, not gonna go into that now. You can explore those on your own. 
or ask somebody has used, who has used those features and they can identify them and help you. That's it. Hope this was helpful. Bye.